okay now we will see about the some differences between the venturi meter and orifice meter differences between venturi meter and orifice meter so first we see about what is venturi meter and what is orifice meter so venturi meter already we know so venturi meter first it's look like this uh, later on it goes to throat part convergent and uh, from convergent to throat and then divergent part will be takes place this is the look like the venturi meter this is the throat and it is divergent and it is convergent so it consists of mainly three parts will be there so it is inserted into the pipe in between the pipe to measure the atmo uh, fluid flow that means rate of flow or discharge so in this what happens means uh, the diameter is goes on changing uh, from pipe dia first section to second section the pipe dia changes and later on the pipe dia goes on increasing that is convergent part and until uh, merges with the pipe dia only so this is one point and and uh, the pressure difference between the uh, before the venturi meter that means before throat part and after throat part is uh, we measured in order to find out the uh, pressure head and the rate of flow discharge also so the main working principle of this venturi meter is we know that it is works on the principle of the bernoulli's principle so here the velocity go, uh, decreases velocity head increases whenever it uh, passing from the convergent to the throat and whenever throat to the divergent the velocity head decreases and the values all those manometric heads pressure heads are uh, we can um, measured using the piezometric head that is manometers u tube manometer or differential manometer is connected between these two sections in order to find out those uh, measure heads and next we will see venturi meter uh, orifice meter orifice meter is nothing but it is a flat circular plate if it is a pipe so the circular plate uh, the flat circular plate is connected so this is the flat circular plate the part is nothing but this is nothing but the orifice and this is also used to measure the rate of flow um uh, rate of flow from the pipe or reservoir so discharge in order to find out the discharge only we use this so the main feature of this orifice meter is in this the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy uh, but it uh, it does not again converted into potential energy it uh, discharge the whole fluid into the atmosphere with uh, kinetic energy only so this is about the main description let us see what are the main differences between this venturi meter and orifice meter the first one is venturi meter can be used to find out the flow rate for inc incompressible flow rate for any type that means uh, uh, low pressure gases for liquids but in case of the orifice meter the discharge rate of flow we measured only for the liquids not for the gases this is one main difference venturi meter can be used for measuring the flow rates of all incompressible flow like gases with low pressures gases with the low pressure variations liquids etc where orifice meter is only for liquids flow flow of rate for liquids only this is the first difference so what is it means venturi meter 
the both working principle same and both are used for the same purpose but in case of the venturi meter it can be used the discharge can be measured for uh, very low pressure variation gases and the liquids also but in case of the orifice meter it does not works well for the gases it only for the liquids this is the first main difference between these two and let's see next one and in the second point the venturi meter it installed in a pipe flow so what happens the acceleration here the velocity here uh, both are uniform rate the section cross section is at uniform rate so it will potential energy will be there this potential energy when passing from the convergent to the throat section what happens the area will be decreasing convergence will be happen so due to that the potential energy is changed to kinetic energy and next from throat to the divergent part the cross section area goes on increasing so what happens the kinetic energy change to the potential energy so this is one uh, i about venturi meter in case of the orifice meter the cross section here what will be there so it will be converging so potential energy will be changing to kinetic energy but later on there is no nothing will be there the flow directly pass open to the atmosphere so he, from the here only we measure the Uh, after it will be uh, open to the atmosphere there will be no changing from the again kinetic energy to potential energy so this is the second difference in venturi meter the flow the uh, that's what the potential energy change to vera kinetic energy kinetic energy and again kinetic energy change to again kinetic energy change to potential energy in orifice meter potential energy change to kinetic energy only there will be no changing again to potential energy this is the second main difference between the venturi meter and orifice meter and the third one is uh, here Uh, the pressure difference in case of the venturi meter the pressure difference what will be there or velocity what will be there in order to find out the velocity we measure the pressure difference from that value we calculate the velocity so in case of the orifice meter in order to find out the velocity discharge velocity we use a pitot tube or trajectory method so third point in venturi meter the flow velocity is measured by noting the pressure differences between inlet and throat of venturi meter in orifice meter the discharge velocity is measured by pitot tube 
so this is the third point that means in venturi meter the in order to find out the discharge velocity the fluid is coming out with how much velocity if we want to know we have to find out the pressure difference between the inlet and the throat of the venturi meter from that we calculate the velocity but in case of the orifice meter what we do is we did not directly find out from the uh, pressure difference uh, pressure difference we find out using a some other instrument known as the pitot tube so using that pitot tube we calculate the velocity of the the flowing fluid